I'm going to allow that chat so I can respond to it really quick. Are are you calling me anti-Muslim? I just want to be clear that you're, or what are you trying to say? Like you pretend, what? First of all, that's just an insanely, I know you're a child, so I'm going to pull my punches a little bit. But the people, first of all, disproportionately the victims between Israel and Palestine are the Palestinians who are literally living under an apartheid government. They do not have the same rights as Israeli people. They do not do not have the same access to public accommodations. They're literally, you know, they're getting disproportionately murdered by the IDF. And it's not even close. And I think usually how I respond to is it, to this is I would say something along the lines of, if someone moves into your house, they show up at your house, they knock on your door and they say, hey... I live here now. And then they try to kick you out and take all of your stuff and force you into a shack far away from where you lived before, where there's no clean water and no ability to grow crops with clean water. And then they restrict your access to things like medical care. And then that person bombs the only hospital you had access to. Would it be wrong for you to fight back against the person who took your house? Do you think it would be wrong for you to fight back against the person who literally stole your home from you? I don't think that would be wrong. And in the same vein, I, I think that Palestinians have a right to self-defense. They do, do not advocate for the Holocaust. I'm just going to ban you, okay? You knew it was coming. You have no idea what's happening over there. No idea what's going on over there. Like, not a fucking clue. I mean, you, there's literally, you cannot go places. You have less rights by being Palestinian. You have less rights for if you're an Arab person. The Israeli government has shown a systemic bias even against Ethiopian Jewish people who moved to Israel. And free Palestine, of course. I hate Israel-Palestine discourse. It's usually just fascists pretending like the Israeli state is justified doing ethnic cleansing. It's like a difficult subject to broach because number one re response you're going to get for standing up for Palestinian liberation is that you're being anti-Semitic, which I think is an absurd claim to make because I think it's more anti-Semitic to equate being Jewish to the uh, settler colonial uh, system of government uh, of, of Israel. Like that is not, that has nothing to do with them being Jewish and everything to do with the, you know, apartheid sy like system that they have established in the region and the atrocities that they are committing against the Palestinian people. My qualm with Israel is not that, that the people who live there are predominantly Jewish and it's everything to do with their practices and their treatment of Palestinian people just on such a large scale. I mean, it, it is a grotesque human atrocity. And I hope someday people look back upon this the same way that we view apartheid in South Africa. And it isn't a discussion of whether or not it's wrong. And ultimately, Palestine will be free. I'm Jewish. And I hate that people think Israel equals Jewish. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty bullshit. It's a pretty Bullshit defense. It's like a stupid response to people advocating for Palestinian liberation to just say that you're being anti-Semitic. Like, I don't equate the Israeli government with, with Jewish people. My criticisms of the Israeli government are not on the basis of, of, you know, them being majority Jewish people. And if you equate a system of apartheid to being Jewish, that seems more anti-Semitic to me than standing up for Palestinian people. And standing, not standing up for them, but standing in solidarity with them. The original Zionist movement would roll in their graves to see what it is used to forgive atrocities today. Exactly. I see ads equivocating anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism on YouTube. It's like the worst kind of identity politics. To be fair, there are some freaks out there who will commit, comment free Palestine on anything that mentions like Rosh Hashanah or something. I've gotten free Palestine comments. I'm on stolen... Uh, yeah, I think, that, I think that there are people who are weird like and cringy about that shit. Like someone will just post something about celebrating a Jewish holiday and then there will be people in the replies is saying free Palestine. But it's like this person is not, this person is just Jewish and you don't know whether or not they support Israel. So just like saying free Palestine to a Jewish person. Yeah, that's fucked up because the insinuation is that that person is by being Jewish supporting the Israeli state when, you know, there's, especially in America, you know, a, a, a huge a segment of of the Jewish population that doesn't support the Israeli government. So my only worry for Palestine are the factions inside it. You have had this formerly PLO and basically have self cut themselves to the Mossad. The issue, right, is I'm trying to you choose my words carefully. They suppressed the more, I don't want to call it a moderate 
movement for liberation. But the political parties, you know, that were less, I don't even want to say radical, but the, the, that were less prone to celebrating violent tactics were suppressed by the Israeli government. While the Israeli government simultaneously bolstered up political parties that they thought they could demonize as being terrorist fronts because it would be easier to frame as them being the victims in the situation, which is so insidious and so fucked up. 